Hey everyone and welcome back to a Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up Dropify to work with your Groovecart store so you can start importing products and automating your orders using Dropify. In this video essentially I'm going to show you how to not only link your store to Dropify but also how to install the Chrome extension if you're just getting started and then using the Chrome extension to import products from AliExpress and other one-click supported vendors. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is link our Groovecart store into Dropify. So once we log into the Dropify dashboard, we just press the button that says Add Store, and we select Groovecart from the list. Press Continue, and then we're gonna name our store Groovecart Test. And then to get our store URL, we have to log into Groovecart. And then once we get to the Groovecart dashboard, we're gonna go to our URL bar and copy everything from HTTPS to the .com, and this is going to be a little bit different depending on what your store name is. Ours is called dropifiedemo.groovecart.com, but essentially this is what's called the administrator URL, so that this is basically the admin URL that controls everything else. This is the home URL that will link your store to Dropify. So then you paste right here. So lastly, we need the API key and the authorization token. And to get that, we go back into Groovecart. And then we go right here to the side menu where it says Find Products. So we press Find Products. And this is going to open up a few different options on how to import products into Groovecart. So we're going to go to the Dropified option in this list and press Learn More. And then we press the App Settings button. And this is going to give us the key and authorization token. So we copy that, paste. Then we go to the token, and we copy and paste. So now we just press Add Store. And as you can see, our store has been added to our list of connected stores. So now that it's connected, we need to start importing products. And to do that, we're gonna install the Chrome extension. So I'm gonna to go to Install Extension right here in the dashboard, and this is going to redirect us to the Chrome Web Store. And so now we press Add to Chrome, and then we press Add Extension. And as you can see, the Chrome extension has now appeared. I'm gonna move it over to the front of my list because I've got a bunch of extensions, and I find it convenient to have it here, but it doesn't matter where it's placed as long as you can see it. So let's go back to Dropified. So now you can start saving products to Dropified or importing them directly to your store from AliExpress and other one-click supported vendors. Now you can go directly to AliExpress here or you can search for it. So I'm gonna search for it and go to AliExpress. And so now we can find products that we want to import. So I want to do, let's say fountain pens. Let's hit that. And so now you can see that all of the products in the results are outlined in a border of either green or red. Anything outlined in green is going to support e-package shipping. And e-package shipping essentially saves money and time when your customers are ordering products. Usually it's gonna be a little bit cheaper to send and it's also going to be a little bit faster. So your customers are gonna be saving time from the moment they order to the time it gets to their door and it's really helpful and it's not necessary but it is a great thing to offer and we find that it's a really important thing to distinguish from so as you can see this one's in red it does not support e-packet shipping but now that the chrome extension is installed we can do a few different things we can hide all the products that don't so they're grayed out so you can only see e-packet products you can hide non-top brand products and you can quick save to your favorite boards it's really up to you how you configure this but we give you a few different options but now if you find a product that you want to import into your store, you can do it in one of two ways. So if you hover over one of these products, you'll be able to see that a Dropify logo pops up, and this is going to save it into Dropify's backend so you can edit it later. So if you find a bunch of different products that you want, you can just hit this one by one by one and import a bunch of products very quickly in rapid succession and they'll be saved for later so you can go into Dropified and change them later. But if you've got a specific product you want to edit now and get live in your store, 
what you can do is you can just click on it and this is going to take you to the product listing. As you can see the price, you can see all of the variants, and you've got the description here. So if you want to import this product into your store, what you can do is you can go to the Chrome extension and you can change the title. I'm just going to call this Fountain Pen. You can set the price. You can set the compare it price to let your customers know how much they're saving. You can choose which of the product photos you want to import. So all of them are going to import by default. You can get rid of a few of them if you want so these won't import. And then to send it to your store, you just select your store from the list. And since we're doing Groovecart, we're going to do Groovecart. And you can save it for later, which will save it just to the back end of Dropify that you can send over to your store later. Or you can send it directly to your store now. So I'm going to press this to send it directly to my store. And then once this is done, we can go in and look in Groovecart to see that our product has actually been migrated over. So once it's done, you can press View in Groovecart, and this is going to open it up in a brand new screen. Press that you're not a robot. <laughs> and as you can see, we got the product name, the pictures, and you can see how it will look within your store. So you've got the main photo and you've got the other product photos here. Then if you want to change it, you can always just do that from here and then press save when you're done. Okay. So that's how you import a product from AliExpress directly into your Groovecart store. But now what do you do if you want to import a product from another store that isn't AliExpress? Well, if you go back to the Dropify dashboard, you can go over to the Products tab in the menu and go to Import Products to see all of the one-click supported websites that we offer dropshipping from. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty extensive list. And we can actually import products from every single one of these. So let's say I go to Fast Tech. So we've got all the different options here. We can sell a bunch of gadgets. Let's, let's find a gadget we want. So let's sell a stylus for our phones. Click on it. And as you can see, this is the price that you'll pay to fulfill it. You can also see a bunch of different colors that it comes in. And now you can import it to your store by going up to the Chrome extension. Touch screen stylus. You can set the price, compare it price, and wait just as before. You can see the product photos here. And then once again, you can just send them directly to your store by pressing send to store. Then once again, we can go back to our products. Now our touchscreen stylus is in our store. So once again, we've got the title, we've got the images, we've got the pricing and variants. You can set up the product page, and then once you're done, you just press save, and it's done. Now that's pretty much how you import products into your store using Dropified and the Chrome extension. So the last thing I'll show you before we go is our Dropshipping 101 and Dropified video training guide sections inside of the dashboard. So if you click on Dropshipping 101, you get access to the Dropified Academy, which is going to have the 14-day fast lane challenge, which is a very quick two-week program, which takes what you know about dropshipping and adds on it to make sure you're running a great automated dropshipping store. And the 60-day challenge is essentially if you are starting from nothing, no knowledge whatsoever about dropshipping and just really want to get started doing it, the 60-day challenge is going to be great for you. It's got all kinds of videos, worksheets, tons of different material about how to run a successful dropshipping store in just two months, essentially. It's an amazing program, and I highly recommend it if you haven't looked at it already. In addition, you've got the advanced training guide, which is essentially 
a small section on how to use different features inside of Dropified's back end. And then you got the Dropified Black video training, which is essentially a guide on how to get started using Dropified Black to start sending cosmetics and CBD products with printing on demand services. And again, the last thing I'll show you is the Dropified video training. And this is essentially a help blog, which has videos and blog posts and step-by-step -step instructions on how to do pretty much everything you could possibly have a question with. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of different topics here. And what we can do is we can connect our GrooveCard store, for instance, which we just did. But if you didn't want to watch a video, you could just do the step-by-step -step instructions here and get it done. But this is going to be a ton of information. This section is always growing with new blog posts and videos, so that way we can always be adding more content and answer more questions as they come up. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully after watching it, you've got your GrooveCard store connected and have started importing products directly from AliExpress and other one-click supported vendors into your store. Until next time, I've been Riley with Dropified. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.